Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to The Order 1886. As usual my name is Mike, otherwise known as the Gadget Addict, and with me is my wonderful wife Emma. I'm not here. She is there. She's ready to dispense sarcasm at any moment's notice. And she's Mayor Command, to all knights in the vicinity of Mayfair. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escaped nation. Acknowledge. Uh, okay, let's have an explore around here. So we didn't gather there, Emma's uncomfortable on our sofa. Not really much I can do about that right now, so we're gonna head down into Mayfair. I mean you want. Someone wants to buy Emma a new sofa? We're accepting donations. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the first episode in this series. Um, I still maintain this is the best looking game I've played ever. Um, be sure to make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Or, you know, all that usual shite that I say at the beginning of a video. And we're just going to press on here. Oh, I can't run. What's going on down there? Goodness. My goodness! Are you making any headway? I'm in the generator room. Lafayette and I have decided to split our search. We men with it, but I have not met any resistance yet. Okay, so we're still searching around. Not much going on at the minute. I, is that, I only have one bullet for this rifle, it's not letting me change to another one. Reverse push and next climb up. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. No, but I can go that way. Alright, so we're going to scurry along the side of the walls here. Yeah, the cat's been a dick. Still. Right. And over to that one. Climb up. She's not a dog, you can't tell her to stay. Remember, youth always prevails. A cat now will. She will learn. <laughs> she will not learn. She's a cat. She's the most stubborn thing on four legs. Yeah, well, I'm no stubborn. Tools. Right, and over we go. Right. Here we go. Where are we now? Who the fuck are you? Whoa! Everyone, one of our escape pieces are half breeds. Um, alright then. <laughs> I only have one bullet to deal with you with. Oh, I'm full of actual ammo. Alright, okay, X is to dodge. Where is it? No, it's always right in front of me. Execution. Let's execute this fucker. Oh, and he's going back down. Oh, fuck. Where the hell did that one come from? Alright, we'll get reloaded. Oh, shit! Fucking hell. <laughs> that was lucky. Die, motherfucker! Monsieur, hold on. I'm on the oh, shit. How many of these do I have to deal with? Feels like it. Oh, 
Yeah, only managing to rattle out a couple of shots before they come back. Okay, reloaded. Where is he? Did I get him? No, I didn't. Fuck you! Oh! Oh, great, I've got to chase him now. Monsieur! What happened? I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your upgun. Oh, God. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood. Ooh, this should this should be fun. Oh, and that implies electricity to me. Whoa, motherfucker! Let's see the lichen. Well, oh. lichens can go out in daytime. Where is he? Oh, I'm not gonna get a clear shot, am I? At least not here. We need to press forward. Well, I'm trying my best to love. Oh, got him. Oh, I want that gun. Now the people should be aware of lichens. Everyone all right? Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. And they're just going to leave a naked body in the floor. Okay then. Sir, what should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. What, Chapel? Purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal, my dear Sir Percival. You may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly, and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. <laughs> what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Mais qui? Ne ne chassons pas des Anglais sur les nouveaux continents. Votre temérité sera requis à un moment opportun. Oui, mon général. I will be governed Sir by Percival. your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Despite the fact that there are reams of dead bodies Something's everywhere. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbour to the rebellion. It's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. The Council? Ooh. All mysterious and that shit. Centuries have passed, <laughs> but our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance 
between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that <laughs> balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion. The rebellion. As long as its campaign of anarchy and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. <laughs> I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together. Lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's royal knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay. nay. The nays have it. This council is dismissed. So we're not going into Whitechapel, or are we going anywhere? Is too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Oh, I'm in control now. Percival seems intent on pursuing his investigation. I can't even get past them, so we'll go around this way. Do we have to talk to some higher ups? Who are you to question the council's wisdom? Yes, Lord Chancellor. Okay, so the Lord Chancellor seems like a bit of an arsehole. Or at least that's what I'm getting from it. Knights of the Round Table, is that anybody? Or is that too obvious a thing for me to need to point out? Right. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, uh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Hmm. Can we expect your presence at the launch, Sir Lucan? It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may? Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair, you know as well as I do that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dead countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head, no one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. 
Oh, we're going to go to Whitechapel, aren't we? Like Commander wishes. Going over the council's head, naughty, Sir Percival. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is a Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egraine were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, I would not wish this life on my children. Marquis, we need to hurry. He's the most we American Frenchman I've ever heard. Monsieur. Just say Monsieur instead of Sir. Doesn't make him French. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still. I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. No, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. All right then. My back. I'm back oh, in control. Your service, Sir All right, follow Tesla. Ah, oh, Tesla. Just the man. This is Nikola Tesla. You don't know about Nikola Tesla, the guy was like the ultimate geek. Invented everything and everyone else took credit for it. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. It's got like a James Bond Q kind of thing. Any further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square? Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. <laughs> that all he's got to say about it. Permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes or fancy, but do be careful. Oh, so am I going to get to play with some nice toys here? Tesla Laboratory, Catacombs of Westminster. Explore the lab. Ooh, lots of shiny things, bright lights. What do we got there? Nicola. War of Currents comes to London. Friend Edison these days. Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. <laughs> the man is an idiot. I'm going to have a look at the back of that. May the best man win. Your friend, Thomas. Okay. Yeah, Thomas Edison stole a lot of Tesla's ideas. Tesla worked for him at one point, I believe, if I remember my history right. And uh, Edison pat patented a lot of the ideas Tesla came up with. Because Tesla was too busy inventing. Alright. Uh... Oh, that all looks complicated and maths-like. I think I'm just bored at this point. Hmm. More gibberish to me. Nicola. <laughs> There's the likes of ladies. Uh, what else is there? Can't look in there. That's a reflection of the room. No, I think there's something there. What on earth Quite is that? Antique. Hard to believe we ever use these communicators. Oh, it's a communicator. Right, okay. Ooh, electricity. I looked at that thing. Have we 
got weapons here. As Sir Galahad. Yes, you rang. What have you for me? Uh, nothing to play with. Galahad. Oh, there you are. Looking at the wrong person. Please, this way. Here is What's something this? you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. Okay. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. <laughs> Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Okay, so you put those ends on there like that. What's it? Click and hold. Oh. Alright. I'm going to get them both aligned. Like that. No. The mercury oscillates with the current. So I've got to lock it. It can be a bit difficult. I see. I've got to lock it. I've got to press and hold to there. Like that. Ah. And like that. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. On my latest whimsy? Could it be a really big gun to kill lichens with? Yeah. It's a really big gun. S684 Marksman Carbine. Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Okay, so we can inspect it. When do I get to shoot it? Oh. There we go. Ooh. Alright, right stick, right stick. Get Boom! Your skills never cease to amaze me. Like, so I've got a bullseye in a digital game, of course, that ceases to amaze you. Recoil is sharp, but manageable. Oh, I can magnify. Nice. Shot. Oh, I can hold my breath as well for a mark of shots. Brilliant. Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? <laughs> the offer's tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. All right, then. We scour the district in pairs. Isabeau, you and Lafayette take the high street from the south end. Galahad and I will move in from the north. Why not give the Frenchman to Galahad? Mademoiselle doubts my intentions. I promise to remain at all times the picture of chivalry. I'd prefer to have someone more experienced looking out for me. I thought you needed no looking after. Very well. You team with Galahad. Mademoiselle will perhaps one day allow me to demonstrate my skill. One day. Remember, we are entering rebel territory. The insurgents will take umbrage at our incursion into Whitechapel. Given our little discovery in Mayfair, the London Hospital should be our target. Strange to think Lycans would find sanctuary here, is it not, monsieur? You really believe the rebels are collaborating with the half-breeds? The Lord Chancellor is convinced of it. I have my doubts. Do you trust anyone, Mon General? Never accept. Always question. It's a motto that's seen me through the centuries. How old is he? Hail. 
Well, he says Stay vigilant, through the all of you. We can expect hot work here. Ah, quel joie! A nest of cut purses, collaborators, and whoremongers. I knew it very differently once. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave this here at the start of chapter 3. So if you enjoyed this, please do make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And come back soon for the next part of The Order 1886. But for now, good night.